Welcome to another episode of our show. Today we are talking about gender-based violence. Domestic violence has many negative emotional and physical effects, including an increased risk of HIV infection. Cuts and scrapes cause... I saw my sister with a black eye yesterday. I think her husband is violent. He's not a good husband. Mrs. Peters says she saw him with another woman this weekend. I'm worried about her. I'm going to talk to her. Sister, I'm worried about you. I've seen the bruises on your body. Does your husband hit you? I've been too scared to tell you. Too scared to tell anyone. He hates me. And sometimes he forces me to have sex with him. No, that is rape. No one should force another person to have sex, even if they are married. What are you going to do? I don't know. He refuses to wear a condom. If I ask him to wear one, he beats me. Now I think I might be pregnant. What if he has HIV? Please come home with me. We can go to the clinic and if you want, you can report Simon to the police. Martha, you cannot leave this house and you cannot go to the police. I have done nothing wrong. You are my wife. Simon, I might be pregnant. If you have infected me with HIV, my baby could also be infected. Unless I get treatment. What you're doing to me is wrong. I'm unsafe here. I will not let you go. It is your fault that I hit you. You never listen to me. Simon, I do not deserve this. You are a bad husband. And I know you are unfaithful. You are a violent man. You think women are your property. I am not your property. I'm going with Priscilla now. I need to leave this house to think about what to do. Sarah went to the police to report that her cousin raped her. The police have taken her to the clinic so that the doctor can treat her and also collect evidence from her body. Sarah will also receive PEP medication to prevent HIV infection. Sarah has bad cuts and scrapes from the violent rape. Her cousin is HIV positive and did not use a condom. This means that Sarah is at high risk of HIV infection. This risk can be reduced by taking PEP. Gloria was raped by her uncle. Today, she is in the clinic to collect her PEP medication. It reduces the risk of HIV infection. She came in immediately after the rape and was given the pills for the first few days. Now she has come back to collect the rest of the pills. This is so the doctor can check that the medication is not causing any problems. She has to take the medication every day for 28 days. John and Dino are part of a Stop Gender-Based Violence campaign at their school. They have come to the clinic for information. A Namibian study found that one out of four girls aged 10 to 14 have experienced forms of sexual abuse. When John and Dino heard this, they decided to encourage learners at their school to speak out if they are abused. Rebecca is HIV positive. She is at the clinic for a checkup. Her boyfriend had many other girlfriends. Whenever she asked him to use a condom, he hit her and told her to shut up. She stopped asking him and he never used the condom. My husband has been abusing me physically, emotionally and sexually for many months. I am glad you came to us. I recommend you take an HIV test and a pregnancy test. I cannot do these tests without your informed consent. Yes, please. If I am pregnant and HIV positive, will my baby have the virus too? If you are pregnant and HIV positive, 
You can take antiretroviral medication during your pregnancy and when you are breastfeeding to prevent mother-to-child transmission of the virus. We can also talk about how you will give birth. Before you take the HIV test, we will give you pre-test counselling. Don't worry, you will not have to tell the community counsellor anything that will make you feel uncomfortable. The counsellor will give you some information about HIV and AIDS. Martha, you are pregnant and the test says you are HIV negative. <sighs> But please understand that it can take up to 12 weeks after exposure before the test can detect HIV. I will write a date in your health passport so you know when you must come back for another HIV test. I don't know if I can trust my husband to stop sleeping with other women. I do not think he will stop beating me either. What if he starts to abuse our baby? Martha, there are ways you can protect yourself and the baby from your husband. You can speak to a social worker, police officer, pastor or someone you trust about your options. You can get a protection order from a magistrate's court and move out of your home to stay with a friend or in a shelter. You can apply to the court for maintenance to get support for yourself and the baby. We have some fact sheets here that you can read to start you off. Martha spoke to a social worker who helped her make plans. Martha knew that Simon would not stop abusing her and having unprotected sex with other women. So she decided to leave him. Martha moved in with her sister. She went to the magistrate's court and got a protection order saying that Simon must stay away from her. She also applied for a maintenance order which would force Simon to provide financial support during her pregnancy and when their child is born. Martha returned to the clinic 12 weeks later. She took a second HIV test which confirmed that she was HIV negative. Oh, he's so beautiful, Martha. Thank you, Priscilla. I'm so glad I took control of my life. <laughs> 